Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Destiny 2 Forsaken. And today we are taking a look at the new Hunter Arkstrider subclass, Way of the Current. So let's get into it. Way of the Current is going to give you a new kind of little spin on the new super. Or not the new super, but the Arkstrider super. It's actually going to allow you to spin your arc staff and deflect all incoming damage. Now, this can be really good against certain things. I've been able to block like boss stomps and stuff, and it just like holds you in place. You don't get knocked away, and it's really nice for something like that. As well as its second effect then giving you increased damage for a short amount of time. Now this actually makes you do three times as much damage. And it is quite a short amount of time, but if you get your timings right in some boss battles, I've been able to like block a stomp, quickly get in a few hits, and then put up my block again as he goes for another stomp. And you end up with permanently three times as much damage for the entire duration of your super. Now, the ability that I actually think is the coolest in the Arc Strider is this Tempest Strike. And this is a really fun ability, kind of like the Titan Hammer, where you can throw it around. This one's really unique compared to a lot of melees in the game. You actually can only use it while you're sliding. So, while you have the charge up, you can start sprinting, crouch, so you start sliding, and then you can use your melee while you're sliding and it's going to do this uppercut that it describes only it's going to shoot a shockwave of electricity and that electricity can actually hit people multiple times it's really good for clearing out like an area of ads there's not too many like aoe melees but i guess like the new void walker kind of has them but this one i feel like does way more damage than a lot of melees we've had in the past and it's really fun to use. You can change angles quickly. And the, like, there's kind of a mind game that you can play with it as to how fast you start it after sliding. You can immediately, out of your sprint, start a slide and then immediately cancel the slide into a melee. And it adds, pro I think, I don't know if you can cancel your slide any other way. You might be able to just do it with jumping. But it adds a cool little thing and you can turn really fast and i'll kind of show that a little bit later and then a lightning weave this is going to proc off of your melee but it actually doesn't mean tempest strike it means just your normal melee so now since you don't have a way to like normally meleeing does not take your melee charge only if you're sliding does it actually take your melee charge so now you can walk up to an enemy and just hit them and you're gonna get reload speed. And I'd say it's pretty similar to Outlaw uh, reload speed. It's actually quite a bit. So if you can find something that's not gonna kill you and melee it, if you kill it in one hit, then good, it's not in your way. If you don't kill it in one hit, then you can instantly reload your gun in front of it and get back to work on killing everything around you. And this final, uh, ability ebb and flow it's actually going to give you the ability to disorient enemies so if you hit them with any arc ability then you can run up and melee them normal melee not your not your arc uh, slide melee and it's going to disorient them and it's also going to give you all energy except for super i guess but it's going to give you energy and everything else which is Pretty useful for some more annoying enemies, like big enemies that, um, not, not bosses, because I don't think you can disorient bosses, but like a big cyclops or an ogre. I say cyclops, I think I mean uh, abomination. An abomination or an ogre, you can use it on that and he'll stop shooting for quite a while. And those tend to be like the big targets that are doing a lot of damage. So you can take them out of the fight without actually killing them and make it easier for your team. But enough of talking about all the abilities, let's just look at them in some actual gameplay. So first let's look at the melee here. As you can see, we kind of slide and kill three enemies there. And we'll actually use our reset here, which every hunter has that little 
uh, dodge melee reset ability. And then we can show off our little uppercut. And now we can show off the reload speed. Here I waste a bullet and then I reload and that's a lot of reload speed actually. And then it wears off quite quickly so we can't always use it. And then just proof of concept, we're gonna use the tempest strike, kill one guy but we don't get any reload speed. And again, back to the reload speed. And we can actually show off why I like arc bolts. They're quite strong. And then here is the super. We are going to block all these hits, including the melee, and then just go to town, hitting for 56,000. And then that last one, after the buff ends, is actually only 18,000. So we can see that it's three times as much. And finally, we have ebb and flow which we hit him with an arc bolt, melee him, and as you can see, he's not doing anything because he is now disoriented. So he's not shooting and he's not a problem for a good like 10 seconds or so. And then we'll show off our little melee action a little bit more with a tight little turn. So what do I think of the new way of the current tree in Arc Strider? I think it's okay. I would have liked to have seen a newer, cooler super than what they actually did. I think the fact that you can block damage is cool, but there's kind of another class that does that. Granted, I think Arc Strider does the best job of preventing all damage in front of you. It really absorbs everything, and you can actually use it as a defensive tool in PvP for the rest of your teammates. So I think it's cool and it, it does what it's supposed to, but I think I would have liked a different super. However, I do think Tempest Strike is very cool and very fun to use, so I'm happy with that. And Lightning Weave is a strong ability, as well as Ebb and Flow. If you know that it's there and you use it to your advantage, I think you can get a lot of use out of that ability. It'll allow you to use more abilities, which means you can use Ebb and Flow more because Ebb and Flow is going to proc when a target is hit by an arc ability. Now, I don't know if that means your teammates as well. So that would be something you would want to look into. This class might be a lot stronger with other arc subclasses around it. So that might be something to consider. But either way, I had fun playing this class. It's probably not going to be my main hunter class because some of the other ones are just really good. But either way, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.